I want to thank Congressman Khanna for his work on the situation in Yemen. He has been a tireless advocate for addressing what is the greatest humanitarian crisis on the globe right now. There's a civil war going on in Yemen uh, that is devastating to the civilian population, and the U.S. is not doing enough to fix the situation. And in the defense bill this year, Congressman Khanna was a real leader on putting provisions into the bill to try to get us to address that situation, specifically to do a review of U.S. military action in Yemen to make sure of exactly what we're doing there because I've, I've met with Secretary Mattis, I've had conversations about what we're doing in Yemen. We have not gotten clear answers and we should not be involved in a civil war in Yemen. We should not be choosing sides and I'm worried that we are. This review will look at what we are doing there and make sure that it is legal and also give us a clearer picture of what the military is doing. We have also been helping Saudi Arabia and the UAE by refueling their aircraft on their various bombing runs. And this bill calls for a stop to that until we can certify exactly what the purpose of those bombing runs are and to make sure of the targets that they're hitting. Because we are and have been working with Saudi Arabia and U UAE to combat ISIS in Syria and Iraq, but that's got nothing to do with what's going on in Yemen. We should not be participating in making the humanitarian crisis there worse. We should be making it better. Uh, there's also a provision in the bill uh, that focuses on the rise in civilian casualties, um, attempts to get answers to that, not just in Yemen, but in many places. The U.S. military right now is all over the world in many places that members of Congress are not even aware of. That should not be. We should have the authority over what our military does, where, and when. And this bill attempts to address that issue. So I want to again thank Congressman Khanna for his leadership. I've been happy to work with him on that uh, in the National Defense Authorizing Act that we just passed today. With that, I'll turn it over to Congressman Khanna. Well, thank you, uh, Representative Smith, and thank you for your leadership uh, at the conference committee uh, and being a voice uh, to make sure these amendments went through and are part of the NDAA. And what you helped achieve with this NDAA is uh, very significant because through your leadership and advocacy, we got two key wins. Uh, first, uh, we're going to have a review of the torture that was taking place uh, in Yemen uh, to make sure that the United States was not involved, to understand what involvement, uh, if any, uh, the United States has had, and to make sure that that stops. Uh, secondly, as you mentioned, uh, we're now going to have a review of any of the refueling uh, to make sure that uh, civilians are not being hit or targeted uh, and to review the legality uh, of that operation. Uh, this was not an easy fight. Uh, as you know, last year we didn't succeed at it, uh, so we've come a long way. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to work with you because one of the important uh, things to convey is that Congress now is watching. And I would say, Representative Smith, it's not just Democrats, it's uh, Republicans too. Uh, and we are very, very concerned uh, about any attack on Hodeida or any uh, offensive uh, that the Saudis may launch. Uh, and I would say that Congress will act uh, if uh, uh, there is any further escalation of violence. Uh, I really urge the parties to uh, look at the UN uh, Griffith, Special uh, Administrator Griffith's peace plan to come to an agreement. Uh, don't force the hands of Congress to have to take further action. And the only final thing I would add is both Congressman Khanna and I know uh, that we're not done. Um, there's a lot more work to do. Ultimately, what we would like is require congressional authorization for any U.S. military action in Yemen. Uh, Congressman Khanna introduced a privileged re resolution um, earlier this year to that effect. The Republicans blocked it and forced something uh, far less than that. But we intend to continue pushing that issue because that's ultimately what we, what we want is peace in Yemen. We want the U.S. to be working to bring the parties together to achieve a peaceful end instead of choosing sides in a civil war without congressional approval. And I think Re Representative Smith being here, being the ranking member on the Armed Services Committee, uh, making this one of his top issues in the NDAA negotiation, uh, shows the, the broad support that this now has in Congress. And uh, among Democrats, but also Republican colleagues. No one uh, t is going to tolerate the humanitarian disaster in Yemen. Uh, this is something that's uh, on the radar of every, well, many members of Congress, uh, and we're watching and will act uh, to prevent uh, further uh, civilian violence.